today I'm going to show you how to make both kinds of sidebars, uh, one being the kind that slides out from the side of the page, and the other one is just the static kind that sticks on the side of the page, doesn't overlap everything else. Um, so yeah, so what I have here is a pretty much blank Vite created app, React app. All I've got is some static content in a main tag and a navigation bar. And the navigation bar has a button in it, which we're going to be using for the sliding out version of the, uh, the sidebar. And for CSS, also some pretty basic stuff. Our main, um, I'll go so you can see this. We're going to have a, a side tag. And in that, we're just going to write sidebar. And we're going to have some, we're going to add some CSS for this. So our side, we're going to add a transform and move it off the screen by default. And with that, we're going to use the translate X CSS function. And we're going to do 100%. That'll basically move it over the width that the element is. And we're going to add a transition. So that'll make it smooth. And then we're going to add a class. So when the class of visible is on the sidebar, we're going to bring it back into the screen. So we're going to give it a transform of translate x zero. So that basically moves it back to where it would be by default. Now let's actually add some functionality to it. So right now we don't see it by default. We're going to add a piece of state with use state called sidebar toggled set sidebar toggled and set that equal to a default of false use state false we need to actually import use state so import curly bracket use state from react and we want to say if sidebar toggled is true add a class of curly brackets and back ticks and then template string say if sidebar is toggled add the visible class uh, this is a ternary by the way and if it's not go away if it's not make it an empty string we have a button here which pretty much mimics a hamburger menu uh, and we're going to write we're going to add the on click function and in this write a callback and set add set sidebar toggled to whatever to true because the only time we're going to be able to click this button is when the sidebar is not in frame or not visible so let's go ahead and test it that should work so okay when you click the button the sidebar pops out but there's no way to bring it back so how we're going to do that is we're going to import um, two hooks from React, one being useRef and one being useEffect. useRef is for creating a reference to the DOM. And second is useEffect, which handles side effects. So we're going to write useEffect. And in its callback function, we don't need a dependency array. In the callback function, create a new function called handler. And this takes in E for event. And this function we're going to pass into the add event listener callback uh, function. We're going to add an event to the document. So add event listener. And that event's going to be a click. We're going to pass in handler, and since this, we don't necessarily have to do this, but we're also going to, you'll probably want to do this on your app, um, any kind of production app. We're going to return an arrow function or a regular function, doesn't matter. We are going to remove, man, I might be dyslexic, document.remove event listener. You have to remove the same event type and the same function for this to work. Um, 
okay, so in this function, we're gonna do, actually first, we need to use the use ref and set a reference to the sidebar. So what we're gonna do is say, we're gonna create a reference called sidebar ref, set that equal to use ref, give it a, a default value of null. React gives us a HTML attribute of ref. That's how we give our, these refs value. Um, we're gonna say ref equals curly brackets sidebar ref. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we were adding this handler function to the document on click. So basically when you click outside of the sidebar, it will close the sidebar, but it does not close the sidebar if you're clicking inside the sidebar. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if the ref, if sidebar ref is actually connected to something. So how we do that is if sidebar ref dot current, current is a property on this that pretty much points to the element itself. So if there's element connected to the reference, um, execute this block. And in here, we're going to say if E, so what you, so the event that is passed into this handler, if E dot target, which is the element dot class list, which gives us an array of the classes in that element. This is, th there's probably more ways to do this, but this is how I like doing it. Um, so we're going to say if, if E dot target dot class list dot contains uh, sidebar, if it does not contain sidebar. So if what you've clicked does not contain the class of sidebar, then we need to turn the toggle the sidebar off. Set sidebar toggled false. And we also need to, um, I'll go ahead and show you what happens. So this button, because of this will not work because you also, because it, it's added this click event to the whole document. So that includes this button. So what we need to do is also check for the button. So let's copy this contains logic. Do paste it, write your and symbol. And so we're gonna check if it contains the sidebar class, which we need to add to this aside right here. So we're gonna add sidebar and we're also gonna add sidebar toggle then it'll set the sidebar to false. So that turns it on and you click away from the sidebar and it closes it. But if you click inside the sidebar, it does not close it. So yeah, that is the, that is the sliding out sidebar. So now I'm going to do the static sidebar that's on the side of the page that does not overlap things. All right, so what I've gone and done is I, I reset it to the beginning where it was in the beginning of the video with just the plain aside. Um, I guess I can delete this toggle. And all I've got in the index CSS is the aside CSS that I had. I'm gonna take out the transition. I'm gonna take out the transform. So now we'll be set with this uh, overlapping sidebar. Let me preface this by saying this is might not be the best way to do this. Um, this is how I usually do it, and it usually does not, it, has, it hasn't It has served me wrong so far. So you can take it and run with it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna move the sidebar to the left side because kind of strange to have it on the right, if I'm being honest. Um, so I'm gonna write in this aside CSS, I'm gonna write left is zero. So okay, now it's on the left and Let's, let's set the nav bar to a fixed height. Let's say 50 pixels. And then the sidebar, let's give it a top of 50 pixels. Now you'll see that it is in the correct spot for the most part, but it'll overlap everything else. So we are going to check and add a media query. So 
I open I just opened inspect element and I'm gonna see so when it gets to about when it gets to about right here yeah okay so right now we're at about 775 pixels width I'm gonna add a media query and when it gets to this max width I am going to set so right now the main if you look the main is set to always stay in the center no matter what so if the screen's like no matter no matter how big the screen is it'll be in the middle so and that is coming from margin zero auto so i'm going to say margin oh wait i need first i need to write main to the actual element and then margin left of main is going to be to the sidebar so width let's say 100 pixels so now we're going to do margin left is 100 pixels all right so i've got a media query that if your screen's under 800 pixels wide if your window's under 800 pixels wide set a fixed margin of to your main element to whatever is holding the content that was originally centered so now it will not go under that sidebar so yeah, I, that's about it. I, I do the first version of this much more often than this version, but this is how I've done it before. It works, works for me. Um, so yeah, that's about it without taking too long on this video. Uh, I'm still getting the hang of this video stuff. So if you liked it, subscribe. If you hated it, dislike it. Um, yeah, peace. Thanks for watching.